Hello guys, Elysia here, and finally, it's happening. Today, I'm starting the Pokemon Omega Ruby Nuzlocke Challenge. First of all, let's have a little introduction here to the game. My name is Birch, but everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. And this is what we call Pokemon. Uh, this is sort of a... Undergone parody or like insight uh, out of the old Pokemon games introductions. So uh, we have the classic truck here where we for some reason sit in the back of. We also have some introduction to all the Pokemon here. This looks fantastic. Uh, let's see here. I'll probably have to go through the rules plenty of times now it seems. Uh, we're going to play as a guy. Now let's see here. My name is Alicia. There we go. Yes, I'm Alicia. This seems like a good time to go over the Nuzlocke rules, finally. So, the rules of the Nuzlocke goes as following. Any of the Pokemon that faints in battle is considered dead, and uh, when they're dead you have to release them, so you can't use them again. I can only catch the first Pokemon I meet in each area, and no one else. If the Pokemon flees or dies, that's it. I, I get no second chance. Uh, the only rule that uh, intervenes with that is if I actually have caught one kind of Pokemon before, and then face it the first time in another area, I get to face a new Pokemon, so I don't get a team full of zigzagoons or something like that. I won't be using any potions in battle, meaning that, yeah, I have to be pretty careful. Uh, we'll put the battle style to set, actually we'll do that right away. Let's see here. Uh, that means that if you beat a Pokemon against a trainer, and he's throwing out another Pokemon. You don't have the option to switch Pokemon in between. Which is what I consider to be the right way to play Pokemon. Also, the last rule. The starting Pokemon. You have three choices there, which kind of intervenes with all the other rules. So, the rule goes as following. You have all trainers and all players have a trainer ID when they play Pokemon, uh, which is a series of number. The last number determines which Pokemon I get. If it's between 1 and 3, I get the first Pokemon. If the number is between 4 and 6, I get the second Pokemon. And if it's between 7 and 9, I get the third Pokemon. And if it's a uh, 0, uh, I guess I'll roll a dice or something. Or pick the... What's it called? <laughs> the, the number before that one. So let's go up and pick a Pokemon. Okay, I guess we can't... Oh, we have to talk to Mei first. Which is my rival in this game. Hello, Mei. Anyway, that's Mei. My goofy rival. One of the few only likable rivals in the Pokemon games. That isn't a complete douchebag. Let's see here. We'll go up and uh, choose a Pokemon now. And we also have to check our player ID. My player ID is 48575. That means I'll get the Pokemon in the middle. Here we have Professor Birch being chased by a Puchaina. Hello! You over there! Please! Help me out! In my bag there's some Pokeballs! So, we'll pick our Pokemon over here. Yes! I get Torchic. Uh, I would have liked to have a Trico as well. I'll have those two. I don't really care for Mudkip, I don't... A wild Puchayan appeared. 
and there's my Torchic. Let's do Ember right away. This will be easy. I wonder if anyone actually has lost a luck this early in the game. I, that would... I think that's pretty much impossible if you'd use any offensive move. I also forgot to mention another rule earlier. Uh, in Pokémon, there is a certain kind of Pokémon that is called... Pokémon has a certain chance of being shiny. That means they will have a different color, color palette than uh, they usually do. Let's skip this. And they have like 1 in 2000 chance of being that. So, chances are pretty slim. If you face a shiny Pokémon, you get free access to it, even if it isn't your first encounter in an area. Meaning you have a 1 in 2000 of getting a new Pokémon where you're not supposed to get one. Yay! Alicia received Torchic, so he owns our party, and yes, we will nickname him. This naming thing is what I mentioned in my Pokemon... no, what is it called? 3DS unboxing video. And the first person who commented on this video, on that video, I mean, and who receives their name on the first Pokemon was Poifix. There we go. Poifix the Torchic, which also happens to be a male, so that's good. I at least think Poifix that you're a dude. You'll have to comment on that, I guess. Yeah, there also is a new addition to this game, where you can sort of, like, you see a radar here, I guess that's what they, the whole, this whole game is about. You have a Pokemon radar, or Pokenab as it's called here, which uh, sort of scans the area where you are, and uh, you can sort of see beforehand which Pokémon you are going to face, which is completely... It's, it's cheating, you can like choose your Pokémon, which... So I'm not going to use that, I'm just gonna ro run straight away into the grass and see what Pokémon I get. Also, this Pokémon doesn't count, because uh, I don't have any Pokéballs yet, so... I also just realized that some people might actually find this interesting. Uh, Pokemon have a certain stat. Oh, it's an adamant Torchic. This is perfect. Uh, Pokemon have different natures. Uh, this ca sort of means that they get bo a bonus stat in one stat and less good in another stat. So this means that I, my attack gets stronger and my special attack gets weaker. Hello, May. What is she doing? Oh, she's watching the pond from the intro. Let's see, on Route 103, I found this Pokemon. And this one, and this one too. Oh, hi, Alicia. What's that? Oh, my dad gave you a Pokemon as a gift, huh? Well then, why don't we go ahead and have a quick battle? I'll give you a taste of what being a trainer is really like. Wow! I just love how the rival is always the douche who pick it, picks the element that is strong against your own. Let's see here. Let's do Scratch, since he's not that keen on taking damage from an Ember. This should make me win, unless he crits or something like that. That would be pretty devastating. And as I said, humiliating. And there we go. It's kind of weird, if I would have been level 5, uh, he probably would have won. So... What would the pose? It was a good battle, thanks! Let me heal up both of our parties real quick. So that's pretty kind of her. Do I receive the Pokeballs now, or do I have to go to 
you're dead. Oh, goddammit, I have to go to the Pokemon lab again. See you in a second.